still plenty of season left if you enjoy skiing. Never ending ski season <laughs> this year. Four exercises you need to know to help you ski better and safer. Our wellness ambassador David Pritchard here this afternoon with these four exercises that can help us yeah. swish That's a right. little bit better. Season isn't over yet. I mean, I know it's cold. People are not thinking about getting outside, but this is a time where you want to start thinking about what do I need to do to keep myself safe in any sport you're doing. Even if you're going to start thinking about running marathons or you're just working out in the gym. Mm -hmm. What can I do at home? What can I do in the gym to prepare my body for that activity that I'm going to be doing? Especially downhill skiing requires a lot of coordination, balance, knee strength. So we're going to use a trainer today that kind of puts you in a position that's really uncomfortable. And I always tell everybody, whether you're, again, an athlete, a weekend warrior, train harder than the sport that you're doing. Yeah. So if you're going to ski downhill, put some time into the gym or at home. This is a great tool. Tell people what this thing is. This is, well, a, this, this is the this Bozu. This is a Bozu ball. This is great because it's filled with air and it puts you in a really uncomfortable position because you have to utilize muscles that you normally would never to use to balance, strength, put your knee in a lot of different angles so that you have to correct mm -hmm. just like you would be doing going downhill. So this is a great tool. You can find it at any sporting goods store. Really easy. All right, let's fill it with air. Flat so yeah, yeah, flat okay. side. Yeah, so we're going to use the air going up. BOSU stands for? Sport trainer. Both sides up. Oh, there we go. Wow, yeah, no, I'm learning go. something. Both that was good. <laughs> Thank you for that. We're using the ball side <laughs> up. We're using side. the ball side up. Okay. Exactly. So what we're going to focus on right now is we're going to move across the ball. Moving across the ball is going to utilize your hips and your joints and your ankles. So that's good. So you're going in that direction nice and easy, mm -hmm. planting your whole foot. It trains your hips, trains your thighs for balance and coordination. Okay. Now, we're going to stand on it, which is going to require some mobility and some balance which is good for skiing especially downhill and we're gonna have those knees as parallel and straight as you can because you're gonna feel yourself going side to side right. which means you have to correct and then by correcting you're getting all these little muscle groups that you normally would never use muscles you don't know you have. exactly yeah. and you're doing so, a little bit of a squat too when you're I'm doing a little bit of a bend I'm holding it there for about 30 to 60 seconds you're gonna feel your core tighten up you're gonna feel your hips your quads on fire mm -hmm. at the first couple times that you do it, but that's good. And then we're going to hop off. We're going to use the ground on this one, and we're going to do a one-legged squat, which is really good because it kind of gives you a chance to kind of strengthen up both sides of your legs. Again, you're going to feel real wobbly and imbalanced, which is really, really good. You're not going crazy low on these. Not going crazy low. I mean, what I'm trying to do is simulate the mm -hmm. sport. Yeah. And then when you ski, you're not going lower than right. 45 that's degrees. So this is enough, and you're driving right through that heel, so you're getting your glutes activated, your hamstrings, and your quads, so you're, and you're gonna do both sides, 12 to 15 reps, and it's good because you're gonna feel a little uneasy, right. That's what I want. But you're teaching your body that memory, too. It's exactly. easier the more you do it. Yes, exactly. Because so if you're more. going downhill skiing, you're not always going to have a perfect right. path. Okay, run now, we're going to ruin so your core. So what we're going to do is just sitting on the ball, knees bent, sitting back, and holding the position. Your core, you can move side to side. Again, to simulate downhill skiing, keep your feet off the ball. If you have to hold on, that's fine. All right. Dave, there thanks you go. for coming in. Got a question for him. Any of our experts, here's how you do it. Ask the expert at TMJ4.com. You can leave a voicemail at that number right there on your screen.